Don't ever let somebody tell you you can't do something. Not even me. All right? All right. Hello, my name is Isaiah Fowler, and I'm from Sacramento, California, currently residing in Atlanta, Georgia, and I will be presenting to you the history and evolution of acting. It began with the silent era. The silent era was in the late 1800s to the late 1920s, and this is when actors and actresses were acting on the TV screen but there were no existing audio so they had to be creative and use more props and things that you can actually visually see since you couldn't really hear the next era was when sound films became much more popular there were five major production companies who were making films continuously and the actors and actresses were under seven year contracts. This hindered them because they could not go anywhere or act in any other genres except within the contract they were stuck in. This really challenged them in the progression of their career. This was great for any of the major production companies who had a monopoly over the industry, but if you were an independent filmmaker, this was not a good time in filmmaking because as an independent filmmaker, you had no exposure and very, very few opportunities. The monopoly of the major five production companies did not last long because television was one of the biggest factors that helped with the demise of the sound films era. When people felt like they didn't need to go and watch movies anymore and you could still get some form of entertainment at home with your television, that was one of the biggest things that allowed independent filmmakers to make their way back into the film industry. Because when the television came, independent filmmakers had a bigger market to play with. After that era, there was a great big transition full of ups and downs. One of the big things that happened was the European film industry flourished. All types of critically acclaimed and box office hits were made in this era. There was also a time when Movie ratings had enabled the industry to create different types of films. This is where you got your G rating, your PG rating, your PG-13 ratings. This was a big, big pivotal time in the film industry. Later on down the road, a lot of other advancements were made in this industry. One of the biggest things was the fact that development of blockbuster franchises were made. There were large scale marketing campaigns and content aimed at adults, children, etc, etc. Also, special effects really, really started getting very popular in the making of these movies. 